each week we struggle to recall our adventure in and around Las Vegas, giving a unique perspective on the best places to tear it up in the entertainment capital of the world. Now, without further ado, here are your hosts, Alicia and David Ivey. Hey there, and welcome to Pub Crawl, the best source of drinky Las Vegas goodness. Yes! Throwing it off this week. What? I like that. I'm Alicia. I'm David. That is awesome. La drinky Las Vegas goodness. Yeah, I've got to, like, you know, I like mix that. it up a little. No, I like that. I think that's, Mixing it up. that's proper. Uh, what do we do right now? Normally. Normally. Welcome to Live City Audience. <laughs> So welcome to the live chat room. Chat room. <laughs> the chat room is usually quiet. They are. They're very quiet. I just hear a lot of typing. Um, <laughs> or not. <laughs> what a week and a half. Right now. Are they? Oh, yes. Chat, chat, oh, chat. chat it up. <laughs> what a week and a half it's been. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. We insane. did the same thing two weeks in a row, so we got a lot to talk about. Yes, we, we trialed the same. We did, we did two trial runs. Yes. And it was fun both times. So let's, uh, before we <laughs> even get any further into anything else, let's get right on to the Cocktail of the Week. Let's do it. Cocktail of the Week. By the way, you build a cocktail in the glass, and then you put... The thing on top of it and slam it down. Oh, yeah? From what I understand, from what I've seen on television, oh. not, you don't build the thing in there and then put that on. Is that what you've been doing? I don't know. And I'm not even <laughs> sure I'm 100% correct on that. But I think you build, you build it in the glass. You know well, you have to because you can see it. I guess you know we're not professional bartenders. No, we never claim to be. <laughs> okay, so this week's cocktail is based on... Well, we're going to... There's a long story behind that. A drink that we'll talk about. Right. In our adventure. But it's actually a real cocktail. What's it called? It's called a nipper juice cocktail. Right, nipper juice. Now, if nipper. You know, now you can almost tell where that's going to be derived from. No, you couldn't really tell. You might think it's fish-based, like a fish nipping at you, or maybe dog-based. Stop, it's... <laughs> Or maybe nipple based. That's uh, what it is. Oh, is that, that's, 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 yeah. that's what you're thinking. Right, right. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so it's this is parts, which is weird. So I'm just gonna do consider that one part. I think that's okay. That's fair. Okay. Important parts. So two parts of rum. Right. We're still using Sailor Jerry. So because two parts. No, this studio, this studio that has an ample supply of Sailor oh, wait, Jerry. Now, <laughs> this is two parts per drink. Yes. Oh, man. I'm already drunk. You know... Two parts of pineapple juice. Because <laughs> we, we were already at Pink Taco. Shake that up. For, for before the show. For happy hour. For happy hour. Which, yeah, they have a good happy hour. It's not even part of what we were talking about in the, the show. The happy hour they have is wonderful. It, what, what were the hours? It was um, from... Four to four seven. Four to seven. They have a, a, a deer and a beer. A deer and a beer. And it's Casadori shot and a Corona light for $5. Right. If you know what I mean, a deer, bad. because Casadori's tequila has the elk or whatever the on the front of it. The stag lug or a deer or whatever. Yeah, so it's... It, yeah. Uh, two parts of pineapple juice. Oh, uh, look at all those calories going into that. Eh. I'm already out of room. Two parts of orange juice. Uh, where's my Here. cat? Here. Oh, there's... Man, there's a lot of... Right. I think you're going to run out of room I in your glass. So two parts of this? Yeah. Oh, you know you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. And one part cranberry juice. Okay. And then, which we could not find at the liquor store on the way here, but if you can find it, it's supposed to have a splash of Nassau Royale liquor, which Nassau is spelled N-A-S-S-A-U. Right, like to be Nassau, like, like, a, uh, like vanilla. Ruby. Right. It's a vanilla flavor, but we couldn't find it. So. I don't even know if you're supposed to shake this. But I did. Shake and... Oh, pretty some ice. Shake and strain. It's, it, it smells very summery. And I bet it had vanilla. It had vanilla. It vanilla. probably would be really good. Because um, that would make or break it, I'm sure. Oh, so for two of them. Okay, so that, that, that's enough for two. Yeah, not really. But if, if I had poured them in highballs, they would have been. But not oh, in these. Okay. I poured them in beer glasses. Do you have a straw? Oh. <laughs> a straw. Oh, yeah. Thanks. A bendy Even an umbrella. An 
umbrella. Yeah. It's good. It, oh, it tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. Nipples? Like it tastes, like, nip it like, tastes like, like fish biting nipples. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Um, well, so, so now, oh you know, it's kind of aquatic in a way. Right. So now we go to the, to the drunk term, alligator arms. This I love because we've seen this happen. <laughs> now this is an old term because I gave it to you. This is, I, I'm rare. I'm rare on the drunk yes, term, but I you gave are you this. Rare one. to supply me a drunk term. Would, would you like to cover it? Well, no, you know. No, I will. I will. Yeah, you better. So this is anyone who never offers to pick up the tab, or your bar tab, or or the bill. They've got alligator arms. They're like, can I get that for you? Right. No. It's I an can't old term. Reach. Nowadays, people make fun of the T-Rex arms, but it's yeah. I like alligator arms. It, when I read Cause it, it was, cause you can imagine alligator walking. Yeah, you, well, it's you can't reach your wallet or the check. That's right. You're like, so in the old days, you'd be like, oh, Charlie looks like he's got some alligator arms. And he's like, oh, oh. oh can't afford that's it. That's pretty. That's actually pretty funny. I like it. We've seen we've seen that happen a lot. Boy, I don't like using orange juice. Everything gets sticky. Um, well, quit spilling. I well, all right. Okay. Anyway, well, let's we'll explain where this drink came from in just a second. In our, we we'll take a break and come back with adventure. our adventure. Let's do it. Oh, hi. I'm Kelly Clinton. <laughs> that stuff. I wonder if Joan Rivers is watching. Oh, oh, please. Oh, my God. Who cares? I don't have a different one. You know who watches this show? Wayne Newton. You got that right, Kelly. I think you're absolutely beautiful. And challenge a young lady. Five, six, nine, twelve. Darker shit. More camera time for me. Hey, I wonder if Cher's watching. Oh, please, I have so many other things to do. <laughs> Woo! Hi, I'm Kelly Clinton. I'm the host of Talk Tales, and you're watching the Vegas Video Network. That was horrible. <laughs> Anywho, so this week and last week, we did this. This was so fun. Sunday before last, we did it again this mm -hmm. Sunday. Yes. I, th I think we've got a new... Because we had to make sure it was fun. Before you know, we recommended this this thing that you ever not, do not a lot of people do. I you don't ever think. do something and, and you got kind of loaded on the way and you're like, that was really fun. It's like, yeah, but was it? <laughs> so, <laughs> no. So let's do Never it again to before. make sure that was fun. What we did was what we're calling the monorail crawl. Mono crawl. The mono crawl. Mono crawl. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> um, so what, was, what it was is, let, let's get on the monorail, monorail crawl. And let's just stop everywhere and just get a drink all the way up to wherever we're going. Which we're going nowhere, but just every, right. every stop. And we so happen to live on the very south, south end of the Strip by the airport. Right. So we, we start at MGM and then we work ourselves all the way to... LVH. LVH, because we can't go to Sahara because that's closed right now. Well, the, the station is still there. But I, there's nothing there. Nothing, nothing to see. We almost thought about going all the way. Well, we'll get to that when we get up to the north end. Yeah. So we start at south end. Now, what we don't actually park at MGM because I think the parking at MGM is awful. I think MGM is just a nightmare to get around. I don't dislike the MGM in general, but just the parking is terrible. So well, for we us, we like to start at Hooters. Yeah, Hooters is a lot easier. Hooter, well, we don't even park at Hooters. We park at the side of Tropicana that's right next to Hooters. There's tons of parking. You park outside. You don't have to go up in a, in a structure. As if you know anything about us, we don't like going up in those or down in those structures. I'd rather just park outside if I can. And we, and we want to start our day off at a pool. Right. So we start at the Hooters pool, which we've done for the last couple of weeks, where the nippers juice came from. But this isn't the same nippers juice, because the nippers juice that they serve at Hooters comes out of one of those daiquiri machines. machines. Now, we would never... I ever would yeah, I would never that. think would be strong. I so think, here's what happened. They've got four of them. They've got a pina colada one. They've got a rum punch one. They've got a something or other and a hurricane one, yeah. whatever. And we would never order anything out of one of those machines because you know it's going to be sugar, ice, and sugar, and ice, and maybe some booze in that whole machine. And you always hear stories about these machines, not, and not, not Hooters, but other machines being like they don't clean them. Well, I, that didn't even cross my well, mind. That, that, I always think about that, so I never want to order anything like that. No, that never even crossed my mind. I just figure I'm going to get a crappy drink. So at a we, A bar. weak drink. Yes. Yeah, so a weak, dirty drink. Turns out one of the girls that works at our bar... You worked for Hooters for 10 years and said, oh, the nippers juice. We're like, nippers juice? What's that? That's, that's the orange. That's this stuff. She said it's a, it's a rum drink. Yeah, they're like rum, rum. It's like four different kinds of rum and fruit juices and pineapple, and pineapple juice, orange juice, and, and, and a cranberry. We're like, really? Okay, we'll get it. We did get it last week, and it was strong. 
And if you go there, they don't offer it as the nippers. It's called rum punch. But, if, rum but punch. every employee knows that that's what it used to be called. There must but have been. I will point. say that is the strongest drink. Out of a machine out like of a that. Machine I've had in a long time. It and thought, we overheard uh, the bartender at this place talking, and she said normally they're like pina coladas are like maybe like twenty percent alcohol. This nippers is sixty percent. Right. So that's pretty strong for a little. Really cool drink. They're not cheap. I think it was eight dollars for or six bucks. Ten you can get the big the, long, which big you can one. refill for five dollars. Yeah, which yeah, isn't bad. So if you want to get wasted at a pool, go get the nippers. By the way, the Hooters <laughs> pool is open to the Strong. public. It's free to get in. It's open twenty four hours. What the hell? And there's not a lot of pools in town that are open 24 hours. Well, there's not a pool in town that's open at night because they don't want to have to hire someone. To, and I don't even know if that's even real. We've heard that's no, it's it's real. It's okay, real. and that's I mean you can go We've there. We've heard it from a from a. Well, I know what we're doing in exactly 52 minutes from right now. Who's pool? <laughs> so just to, we should check that out. Um, anyway, so I love the pool there. Uh, we talked about it last week. It's really good. We were just starting there. We get it, went in. We had our nippers juice. Uh, watched the NASCAR race, watched the Cowboys come in fifth, and then <laughs> headed over to Tropicana, um, which I don't like. I'm sorry. I, I, I was so rooting for the Tropicana after the remodel. I like the fact that they took an old classic property, and instead of just changing it to the SLS or whatever like Sahara is doing, they figured, you know, the street is named after this property. That's how, like, the Sahara was, and that's, you know... Yeah. And the Alibaba and all these forgotten hotels, the Desert Inn, were named after the hotel. They're all gone except the Trump. So I wanted to, I wanted to but their damn drinks are $9. And, and so, they're well drinks. They don't, no, well, again, yeah, that's oh. confusion because they don't have well drinks. Right. They only have call drinks. And they and will say, nine and they're nine bucks. And we walked in, and, we, and again, we knew this before. We said, what, two rum and Cokes? Or no, two bourbon and two bourbon and diets. What we get. Our our well is Jim. All right. Well, that's all right. Uh, that'll be uh, eighteen. Or, you know, nineteen bucks. It's like, like for for what? For a, a little tiny glass. I and uh, the only reason I'm going to point them out on this is because a they're not a big corporation. They might can hear us screaming from the below the moat up to their ivory tower. Yeah, that, you know what? That's we're not, mad as hell and we're not going to take right. it anymore. It's just, it's not I'm fair. serious. Tropicana. All you people, how do you sleep at night charging that? So we, the people, have got to stand up for this, or they're just going to keep raising it and raising it and raising it. And, be, and mark my words! But i got to do the, the politician thing. I have to think. Mark my words! Because you can't point, because that's wrong. you got to go this. If we don't stand up now, it's going to be $12 for a drink in, in two years from now. The next administration... Is going to be paying twelve dollars a drink for a Jim Beam and Diet Coke if we don't stand up. And I swear to God, we, I don't know what to do. Call for a boycott. Call for just please listen to us. I'm never drinking there again. They do have an evening call place, which is not too bad. One of those little daiquiri things. Which they're not. They're like six bucks there. But at the actual casino bars, they're nine dollars. You know what? Go to hell, Tropicana. I'm sorry. And same. And everybody else is charging that too. I'm just pointing them out. Because they're not MGM or Caesar's property. They're, they're not, they're never they're not on the them. strip either. They're off strip. Well, they're so. totally on the strip. But they are not, on the strip. They're not, they're, not that, they're not like a high-end place, though. Well, no, that they're not. They think that they are, but they're not. So they're $9 is prices. outrageous. And I, I, if next time someone goes in there, go in there and go, I want, a, I want a bourbon and Coke or I want a gin and tonic. And when they say $9, go, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm mm. sorry. I'm going to go next door to Hooters and get it for three. Or I'm going to go down the street and get I'm going to go to somewhere nicer like MGM and get it for seven or eight. I, it's outrageous. I, I'm, so anyway, I'm, we left completely pissed. Like, you know what? Forget it. I'm so mad at these guys. But I was hungry and I was thirsty. So let's climb the crazy bridge over to Excalibur <laughs> where at their... Camelot Bar. We haven't even got on the monorail, by the way, yet. So, well, we actually were waiting for a friend to meet us in the parking lot. So we're like, anyway, so we go to Camelot. That's the Camelot Bar. It used, used to be the Camelot, uh, or whatever, the, the diner that turned into Leonard Skinner's. It's closed. Right. Now it's just a little bar, but they had a draft and a dog for five bucks. So somebody had a nice hot dog for dinner. I had a hot dog and any draft. It was any domestic draft. So I think I got a Miller Lite or a Bud Lite yeah. or a Coors Light, whatever. 
and a dog for five bucks. And it wasn't bad. The dog, the, 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 the bun was a little stale, but whatever. It was five dollars. Whatever. You can't, I almost got another bitch one. about that. No, I was completely satisfied. Mm. Not satiated, but satisfied. I was happy with the price. So, <laughs> like, all right, I got my dog in me. I got my beer in me. Uh, I blew off some steam at the Tropicana. So, all right, let's get up. Let's. We had to cr- climb through the maze that is the MGM to get mm. to the monorail station. Yes. That monorail station, by the way. I finally see where Scott was talking about where the, where the Coliseum is. Way in the back, because it's way back by the monorail station. Right, which is way past Diego's. And there's not a... Well, no, it's right before Diego's. It was right by Diego's, but that's like way in the back in the bowels of And there's no easier gym. way into that joint. You really got to go in through the front and go all the way. And that hack of sand thing, give me a break with that. Um, <laughs> so we go... And, oh, Describe by the way... Describe hack of sand well, we, for people no, who don't know. It's, it's, that's it's, a three-story it's, it's club. It's gigantic. It's the whole front of the MGM now. Um, oh, by the way, um, are we still on the we are not on the radio so we can cuss thing? Yeah, if you like. Okay. I don't normally, I don't like to have an, exclu- a, an explicit symbol on our thing. But when you walk into the, uh, the MGM now, there's no lions. Fuck you, PETA. <laughs> Thank you for taking our lions away, PETA, assholes. Uh, one of my favorite things is to go and look at lion balls. And thank you. All night long. Right. Thank you, PETA. Because that's all those lions would do, just lay there on the glass. And you're just like, oh, look at how big lion balls are. <laughs> well, Alicia had a different reason for going, but I thought the lions were majestic and beautiful. And by the way, <laughs> oh, sorry. they were the happiest lions in the entire world. It wasn't like there was one lion locked in there. Turn, turns out there was like 20 of and them. And they, they rotated them every couple hours. Yes. And they were happy lions. They all go off and they play. Then they come into the, to the, to the MGM and they sl- basically sleep in there. Yeah, then they get them back on a truck and they send, ship them back over to the park. And then they, they hang out at the park all day. But it was a great had place to come to, in there. Yeah, and a great place to bring relatives and people from out of town. Like, check out lions. How close do you ever get to lions? And lions balls, like, this close. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Um. I don't know what the balls thing. I don't. It was just like, where else did you, where else did you see that? I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> where else did you see that? The, um, but yeah. So now, but but Peta came in there and went, oh, caged animals. So now those poor, those those You're lions so happy. were probably totally happy. Are now probably totally mad and upset and probably have a shitty life in a zoo right now where they yeah. had this great life. Yeah, in the in the Las Vegas Zoo. Yeah. Now they <laughs> now they're probably at some shitty zoo. Thanks, Peta. Out in the heat, and they had air conditioning before. Uh, All they could eat, they had uh, lots of visual stimulation. So anyway, the, the front of the, that used to be really awesome to walk into MGM. The lions were there. I used to love that. It was really cool. Yeah. So that's, that's all gone. Not to mention all the people's jobs who got left, you know, whatever. So we, yeah. we walk all the way. Oh, we did get, we stopped at the sundry store, which is still the lion-themed sundry store. You can still get the little plushy lions and all that stuff. And we got a couple beers. Well, I didn't, because I thought, I better slow down. Um, Walked all the way through MGM. There was opening something new there. Oh, that pub. Michael Mina closed his fish place and is opening up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks right. like a kind of a cool pub back there. We, have no, we don't know yet. It's not open. And, went all, and, and had to find the, the monorail. Got on that and took it. And this is the coolest thing. I'd never been on it. And you get to see the backside of all the casinos. In the back of the MGM were the old... Uh, Amusement park, theme park used to be. It was really cool. Yeah, really it's like, awesome. Like we saw scenes of Las Vegas, and we've we've lived here for five years. We've right. been visiting for over what fifteen. Right. Never saw these back views and these crazy little things. Pools, like what is all this? All the tennis courts. Every single yeah. yeah, every single weird pool, and you get to see like all the people laying out and like. Well, like Scott talked about. Awesome. You, it was you so played cool. at the back of the signature, not signature. What's the fancy MGM place? Um, the mansion. The mansion, okay. All that back there. See, the monorail kind of goes over that stuff, so you can kind of see it. It's really cool. So unless you get privy to those kind of, you know, things, you never get to see that stuff. So that was, it's really kind of cool to look out. The next stop is, next stop on the monorail, Paris and Bally's. Um, oh, by the way, and, and if you look at the sign for the monorail, what, the, what it says the next stop is, is usually what it is, and then they start listing off places that aren't anywhere close to there at all. Like, well, they list all these surrounding properties. Right. Like, next up, Paris and Bally's and Caesar's Palace and Bellagio. It's like, there's not, they're a mile away from that stop, but that's the closest stop to yeah. those places. So we go, we stop at Paris and Bally's, and you know what we're going to do for there? 
It's already been at least 45 minutes since I've had a hot dog. So now we got to go to the Kila Bar and get tacos. Plus, we met some friends there that were over that were taking the monorail rail the other way. Right. The other problem is oh, here's a minor problem: is the monorail station at Bally's is a mile behind Bally's. Like, oh my God, it's so far. You have to go. It's all the way behind the sports book. Yeah. So there might be some hiking involved. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, don't take the bottom around and think you're going to like save, save from walking. No, you're not. Yeah, if, if, just, you're, if you're handicapped, right. don't, just, don't expect just, that to be the best mode of transit for we you. Do it take so we, don't, we do it so we don't drive, right. not so we don't walk. So the good thing is, is you and walk. Also, and also for ease of meeting up with friends. Like if, if you're coming to town and you're meeting up with you know, people who are staying in different properties, right. it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Oh, so it we can all great. just, hey, we'll meet you at this point and just jump on the monorail and meet together. Right. So it is 12 bucks to take an all-day trip. If you're not a local. It's always 12 bucks to take an all-day trip. But if you're a local, there's a deal. What's the deal? So if you're a local, it's a dollar. Per per, ride. Per ride. One-way ride. Right. But the the deal is you have to buy it between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. at certain stations. So MGM, Bally's, Paris. So MGM, then Bally's, Paris Station, or Flamingo, uh, I can't read my own writing. And then the Harris Harris Quad writing, Harris Quad Station. Right. And you can only buy a max of two single passes per day. Well, that's not going to work then. Well, I guess you go to there, yeah, then you buy two dollar, more. It's still a dollar, so it's yeah. two bucks. So if, if, you could, if you could time it, yeah, if you're local. Oof. Just buy the $12 one. That sounds like too much more effort. Yeah, because um, then that's all day. Yeah, it's all day. Any many stops as yeah. you want. So um, the good news is that we're back at Bally's, which I've never been to. They have the Blue Pool. Which is awesome, and you and non hotel guests can get in for ten bucks. I don't know if it's worth ten bucks, but the pool at the back of Bally's was really and packed. We just you could see it from the monorail. Oh, yeah. it, was it, was, a party it looked extra cool. I actually thought about going, but I was like, well, we got we got drinking to do. I ain't got no. We got we already we just left the pool, so we go with all the way through Bally's, go to the tequila bar, two dollar tacos, two dollar shots, two dollar beers. I think we had two two and two as we always do. Actually, we've been doing three two and two, three tacos, two shots, and two beers. Right. Because anyway, and then. Um, from there, we met our friends, and we went, well, we're not done, but we're done here. So let's walk 20 feet to La Burger Basserie, which we finally did the happy hour. Not, we didn't eat. We just drank. Uh, watched some of the hockey game. And that was cool. I liked the two-for-one. That's a south trap. The second happy hour is over. Run out of that joint. Cause she told us what they were at non-happy hour, and they were more than, more than $9 a piece. I believe it. So that was cool. Happy hours four to seven at La Burger, Burger Basserie. Basserie. Also, another twenty feet down, twenty yards down the down the hall is our favorite uh, martini place in the world, uh, La Central, which is the the main little sh- uh, what do you call that? Central. No, but like the, what's it look like? Gazebo. Yes. Thing in Paris, and that's also four to seven. They're two for one martinis, which if you can do more than two, good luck to you because I can't. So, so we, 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 we take that place very Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, treat, we treat that with a lot of respect. Two for Kid one martinis. Yeah, yeah. We'll do two, martini, two martinis total, one each, and then keep going because that's a, they'll kill you there. Um, now, the only problem here is we're like, well, let's get back on the monorail, but we're quicker to walk to the next station than we are to walk to the station. To this station, which I think is weird, because the very next station is Flamingo, which is right across the street, across Flamingo. Well, we're almost right. We can just walk to stage door and get right to that station, probably mm-hmm. quicker walking. So that's probably what we do. We walk over to, one day we did, one day we didn't. Walk over to stage door, do a little Flamingo round. Um, we were with our friend Dave, who likes Sin City Brewery, which we do depending on who's working. Um, daytimes we like it, nighttimes we don't. Yeah, uh, not so much. But they do have a good happy hour there too. They do the well, they don't anymore. That's right. Forget, forget it. We wouldn't even talk about that place yeah, yeah, right now. Um, They're kind of on our shit list. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, so anyway, get on the tram there. The next stop was uh, Venetian, and what do they call it? They call it the Venetian Harris. It stops at Harris and and the Quad. But this time we decided, well, let's go to, because we go to the Venetian a lot, let's go next door to the Venetian to a place we've been to a lot in the last two weeks, Casino Royale. A place we've never really even stepped into officially, I don't think, in years. Like, 
We'd walk through it if it was too hot or too cold. I really like Casino Royale. I do too. That's our new spot. We spent all oh, like Friday night there a couple of weeks ago, and we went back there on the. It's like that place is cool. Michelob's for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, the drinks are what two fifty or three dollars. Um, Kim was getting martinis for three fifty for. Tangeray martinis. They would come in a plastic cup, but whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, mean the, the prices, are like, they're very cheap Unbelievable. There. And the staff is wonderful. I think the first time we were there. And then we got dinner there one night. We went to the, what did we get, like Subway? No, Quiznos? You got, no, you got <laughs> Subway and you got the dollar hot dog. Subway and the dollar hot dog for you. The, and the that, was, that was our fancy dinner night. That was, and it's really good. I think the it first, was good. The first time we were there officially, something to do with the Whitney's because this was, Remember we met them? They were coming from... This was only... You, you guys were meeting us. It's Caesar, somewhere. We and met we at said, the Casino Royale? Yes. Yeah, you had a meeting us at Casino Royale. You guys met us there. We were there like maybe like three weeks ago. and that, that, so, we, so we had a really good time there. Yeah, that was the first time we were like, the Michelob's for a dollar. So now we've been oh. going there. It's a really yeah. cool... Yeah. Uh, what were we, we doing? Went, we went from somewhere to there. Right. Right? We were at Caesar's. I thought it was across the street. Yeah, I think you're right. Or no, no, it was, was it? a Mirage. Mirage. We, mirage. You guys were eating at, at, at right. You guys were at California Pizza Kitchen. That's right. We said we'll meet you over at Casino Royale. That's right. And I just said that on the cuff, off the cuff, and it turns out that place is awesome. I'm really proud that I remember. Yeah. That. <laughs> so we went back there again. It was yeah, really, really fun. See that all the days just blur together. <laughs> um, so You're that, in fabulous Las Vegas. Yeah, so that was so that's a awesome. Oh my dollar Michelob's, and that also means Michelob Light, Michelob Ultra, or Michelob. So it's any Michelob, a buck, buck. Cheap, you can't beat that. And that's on the strip. So, yeah, Tropicana can suck it, because I can get a $3.50 drink at And I, I still don't consider them to be on the strip. I know they are, technically, but... Well, I don't, just, you're going to get so much I know, but you know what? I don't. I just, I just, they seem to me like, but, like, but, a, but like, a, like, almost like, maybe I've just blocked them out in my head. Wait, 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 wait hear me. Technically, before, yes, before all the mail comes in, I think the strip all started at the Flamingo, and I think the second I hotel know. on the strip I was know. the Tropicana. I mean, I it's know. literally... The strip, like. But you know what? Mentally, I can, I can, I can shift. Right? See what I have to live with, people. You do, you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> See how it's like? It's, it is a fact, but no, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if that's a fact. I'm at shifting all. my perception. Yeah, but I don't, I don't see you as right. <laughs> but I'm right, but I, I don't see you as right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but I don't. I'm, I'm on sorry. my own here. Party one. <laughs> I didn't even talk to that girl. Yeah, but but in my mind, I saw you talking to that girl. But I did. But, so, <laughs> so that's what I that's what I deal with. Okay. So Casino Royale kicks us, and again, is is Tropicana that much nicer than Casino Royale? It's a little nicer, but not. I mean, come on. It's a lot nicer. It's, it's a, a lot, lot nicer, nicer, but. Man, it's not, a, it's not funner. It just, it's not funner. It just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel very welcoming. It just doesn't. Well, 350 drinks will do that to you, too. Anyway, yeah. so Casino Royale is awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. So we get back on the thing, and we skip uh, convention center. There's like two, there's a convention center one. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's a very long drive. Get off there, you'd be like, I don't know what you're doing there. But then the, la then the second to last one is the LVH, the Old Hilton. And we had to do that. It's like, well, we're not going to keep going to the, uh, the SLS because it's not even open. We thought maybe going to the Stratosphere, but then we thought for a second, wait a minute, the Stratosphere is not as close to the Sahara as no, I think it is. No, that's that's that would be like a 20-minute walk. And a 20-minute walk north of Sahara. No, no. It's like You should cab that. Because the week before... <laughs> When we were at the casino, at the Harris one, we walked to El Segundo Sol at the mall. And are you showing, are you showing rock balls? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't go to that. Oh, we so were that. trying to show LVH and that thing popped okay, up. Okay, so rock balls now on house seats. Well, no, it has been. It's been on house seats forever. Yes, and you I know what? I it, so that means it's doing great. I've got a, I've got a great <laughs> story about rating the rock ball. So we go to the pool at the LVH, and if you get the happy hour drinks, they give you a raffle ticket. So, and we get a couple, and we get a couple, so we have a stack of raffle tickets. And the DJ, like, stops playing, move to the left, move to the right, freeze, and crisscross. He stopped playing that for, like, two Everybody seconds. Everybody clap your hands. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so he stopped <laughs> playing that for ten seconds, long enough to go, we're going to give away some tickets. First tickets are for Esteban at the Shimmer Showroom, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, 48612, some kid won it, whatever. Uh, two more tickets to Esteban. Like, oh, no. And then, then it was tickets to 
something else dumb that I don't, we don't know about, whatever. And then uh, Raid the Rockfall, and he gives away two ter- pairs of tickets to that. Then they go, dinner for two at Benihana. Holy smokes, I want that. So then about an hour later, they do another raffle. We're like, ooh, Benihana, 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 right? So we get two tickets to Raid the Rock Vault, 4861212. It's like, that's us. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. No, thank you. All right, pick another number. Like, I don't want that. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Oh. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't need this. I'm need afraid to that I've poisoned you on that show. I know it before it even. You know who's got to be one pissed off mofo walking by the poster for Raiding the Rock Vault? It says Tracy Guns. Oh, Guns yeah. and Roses. <gasps> Trace again from Guns N' Roses. Like, he oh, was, no. That, that was his rival band. He was right. never in Guns N' Roses. Elegant. That is like, <laughs> oh, no, we're being inside old yeah. metal douchebags, but. Um, it's close. Yeah, when they list off all the names of people and what band they were but in. But don't they have anybody who's like a fact checker? Don't they have anybody? They went, anybody? The Tracy Guns was the founder <laughs> and single member of LA, LA Guns. Guns. Right. And if you know, and any, real quick heavy metal trivia. Uh, there was two bands in Los Angeles. One was called L.A. Guns and one was called Hollywood Rose. Now, Hollywood Rose had Axel and Slash in it. Mm-hmm. L.A. Guns had, you know, uh, Izzy right. and uh, Duff. And, you know, and, and it were, there were these two big rival bands. They joined L.A. Guns, Hollywood Rose, and made oh. Guns N' Roses. But not Tracy and not, a, you know, what there was, but just those, the, the, those guys. And then they became the biggest band since the Beatles, and, and the rest is history. Tracy was never in LA, was never in that. I'm sure when he walks by that poster, he's, he's like, like <laughs> I was never in that band. So uh, that's, that, that could be one of the reasons why he might go, grr. <laughs> one of the reasons. <laughs> but that's just got to be salt in the wound when he walks yeah, by yeah. the stupid poster, and it says Tracy Guns from Guns N' Roses. Like, oh. <laughs> and we thought that, we're like, like <laughs> oh, man, yeah. So anyway, um, it was so, anyway, so we went, we, LVH is dead. It was whatever it is. And like I said, it, well, you know. but now we had to get all the way back, now, which is kind of cool because if you don't get off, you get back pretty fast. I was kind of like, hey. And you know what? So people ask, how's the monorail doing? <sighs> it wasn't very crowded. No. There was like maybe like three people besides us per little cab. Per ride, yeah. Per ride. It per, wasn't bad. Per compartment. And they were all nice people. It wasn't like riding the bus. Well, no, because it's expensive. You're not getting like the drag. You're not getting the drags right nice. the thing. It was nice. It was nice. I would, I would recommend this ride. <laughs> we got on at one of the stations we got on. I think it was the Bally station. There was a lot of people on the platform. Going different directions, it's like oh, it, it's yeah. not not that you have any problem getting a seat. So I don't know what they can do to fix it. I don't know if it's broken officially. Um, if it went to the airport, that would probably be a good thing. It's never going to happen. But it should go to the airport. I know, but it, it'll never happen. That that would make it. Oh, it would be huge. It would be huge. Maybe even one little twist around the other side of the strip. I I don't know yeah. what they can. It's kind of this useless thing. Plus, there's that other mon- monorail on the other side that's free. The one that goes from Monte Carlo. Right. Well, there's two of them. There's one that goes, that one's the slowest Well, those are, one. those are between properties. And though. the one, the Excalibur one, sucks. That is the slowest thing. I don't mean it's slow when you get on Excalibur it. Excalibur one. It, it goes from, like, Mandalay Bay to Excalibur. We've taken it. We have? Yeah. It goes, it goes. Is it a Mandal- monorail or people mover? Like a, well, like it's a, a monorail. It goes from, it goes, really? you get on at Mandalay Bay and it takes you all the way to Excalibur. It stops at Luxor. We always just walk Oh. It. We've, dug, yeah. we've taken it one time. Okay. It's not I even worth it because it takes, because there's only one train per direction. So it takes 20 minutes to pick you up. It's terrible. You need to wait for it. Yeah. The monorail monorail, it's every five minutes. Really fast. I like that. Um, the other one on the other side of the, the road, which I do like too, is the Monte Carlo to uh, Bellagio. That one's really cool too. It stops at Aria and, and all those. That's that's not bad either, but that's just a personal MGM one. There's one in City Center as well. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, it stops at it stops at City Center and goes on to uh, it skips Cosmo because well they would do that because uh, it's owned by MGM. <laughs> right. It'll take you to Bellagio. Um, that one's not bad, but this is actually the city one, and it's cool. I was like, all right, if you could buy like an annual pass, which you might be able to do. That wouldn't yeah. be a bad idea. For us, like, said, for, like you said, for us, we live on the south side of the Strip. We could just get on an MGM and just go up and down all day long. 
Yeah, twelve bucks. That's not bad. Right, if it was like eighty bucks Cheap, a year, like cheaper than a cab, right? A cab oh. at twenty bucks a time. It's, you know what? I don't know what's up with Minimum. cabs, but yeah, it's twenty dollars if I want to go across. No the street. matter what. Yeah, it's, uh, it's twenty, and people go, "It wasn't twenty; it was twelve. So yeah, but my twenty is still but, gone. And plus, like, yeah, yeah your your tip, you broke your twenty. Yeah, so my my twenty's gone. Once the twenty's gone, it's gone. I don't care if it was if it was twelve or eighteen. It's gone. Yeah, so twelve dollars back and forth. Yeah. You might have to hike a little bit. Yeah, if, I like if, it. if you're bringing your grandma with you, probably don't do the monorail. That's the only problem <laughs> I have with it is there's a lot more walking. Like we just do it, like I said, to avoid driving and parking. But if if you want to avoid walking, don't take the monorail. And also dealing with like driving friends around and meeting up, just park in one spot, mm -hmm. monorail. We have friends coming in tomorrow, and they're staying at the LVH. We should say get a thing, and we'll meet you anywhere we can, because that's uh, that would be a good idea. So on the monorail stop. I liked yeah. it. Um, so that was that's that. So we like the monorail. Yeah, and it was a good way to get around and try it different was things. Fun. We got to see a lot of stuff we don't normally get to see. Back of pools. Uh, back the back end of Las Vegas. The ba the ass end of Bally's. <laughs> back end of Bally's. <laughs> so anyway, it was cool. Let's uh, let's do some hey bartender. Really? Now As this is back. where you talk. And we shut up for a second. Not, not that that really happened. Well, I'm still talking. I know. <laughs> okay, this one is from Tom L. Just awesome. We just got this today, I think. So, Greetings. Love the show. We are from Philly, so we can only get to Vegas every few, few years. Luckily, this summer, we're not, only to come, we're not only coming to Vegas, but we're also visiting what I think is one of your other favorite cities, New Orleans. That is true. You are correct. Um, we've done each city three, two to three times, so we do not need tips on the standard tourist pubs like Pat O'Brien's in NOLA or Carnival Court in Vegas, etc. If you could pick one, and this is a question here, if you could pick one spot we must go to in each city, what would that be? <laughs> I remember you discussing the Devil's Triangle in previous episodes. Oh my God, it's easy. That's, I, that might be harder in New Orleans because it's like you got to go. And they will report on their adventures at the end of the summer. Oh, because Coops. Would you say Coops or Portocal? If you had to pick one, or would you I say? I would say Portocal. Portocal. I would too. Portocal. No, I would not say Coops. There's two. If you're in New Orleans, go to Coops or Portocal. <laughs> oh, you got. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, yeah, yeah, New Orleans. So, so Coops <sighs> the, has the the Coachman. <sighs> Napoleon's? Oh, are you kidding me? Don't even get started on New Orleans. We, we, that's the only place in the world we do this more <laughs> there than we do it here. And we do it here a lot. You know what I'm talking about when I say it. Um, it's like, oh my God, that city. <laughs> we could do, that'll be Pub Crawl Point 2.0. Okay, but New do Orleans. you pick, pick your top? You pick one. Protocol. I, that, that's mine too. No. It's Coops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I pick Portocol, you pick Portocol's on uh, Esplanade and about Bourbon Street. Coops is on Decatur. Decatur. And about Governor Nichols, uh, Bienville. Not Bienville. Ish, yeah, yeah Ish. Governor uh, Domain, maybe. Has the best hamburger ever. Is Portocol. Best hamburger you'll ever have in your entire lifetime. And their monsoon is just, just uh, okay, you know what's Portocol. Screw it. And a monsoon. So it's like a hurricane, and you get it in this giant don't call plastic it a hurricane. glass. Don't call it hurricane. They'll bitch you out, and they'll right. just, like, they'll punch you. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's called a monsoon. It's their signature cocktail, and it's, it's a rum punch from hell, and right. it's delicious. It and it's, like, about this big. Like yeah, it makes, it makes the nippers look like baby, just baby <laughs> little. Um, <laughs> it's so that's, awesome. Yeah, there. We have, we have crawled down the street laughing. After, literally Like crawl. literally like a group, like us two and a group of pretty big guys, guy crawling. friends, crawling right. down the street after eating. Um, yes. And here, there. what would you say here? Uh, okay, so, we, so he's mentioning the Devil's Triangle that he has to absolutely, absolutely try well, see, Devil's Triangle is, when you, when you mentioned that, that's what we call uh, uh, stage door, tequila. For the grill, ultimate, for, for like a and, the, and can't, the can't miss experience. I think that would be a big one. But, but that's, a, that's, a bit, that's a cheap little just go to three bars. It's, yeah. And they're really fun. Which is really fun. Like if we moved away from here, what would we miss? What bar would we go, oh, I want to be sitting inside of right now? I still love Frankie's. I know, Frankie's Tiki Room. I, I still love Frankie's. I know. I know. Frankie's, I have McMullen's, Frankie's Tiki Room. I had Frankie's Tiki Room, it's, it's the best bar in, around. I, I can't state, it can, that cannot be stated higher. I can't, it can't be. 
That bar is amazing. And yeah, just just for like the crazy events that they have, like. And it's not have, a tourist. I mean, you have to take a cab. It's gonna be a twenty dollar cab yeah, ride. It's, it's not. It's not cheap, but they have you know people with you know. This is like carving tiki chairs there, <laughs> like in the bar. It's, it's that's probably the. It's, it's pretty cool. That's the one. What about Fireside? Uh, you know what? Um, no, I'm, Fireside's a little Fireside. pricey, and Fireside is only as good as the company you take with you. Um, and only as good as the waitresses working that night. Well, it's not even that. I've had some great times in Fire in Fireside, but it's been because I've had friends with there, mainly you guys or whatever. Mm. If we just went right now, you're like, eh, it's all right. But frankly, we can just go right now and be great. Double down, awesome. No matter what, Double it's Double down's always, awesome. always fun. Always awesome. Same owner as Frankie's, which is kind of a weird. Yeah. Kind of really pro promoting that, aren't we? Yeah, and not, not even intentionally. <laughs> no. Um, I still love Margaritaville. I know it's a big, ridiculous, corporate, outrageous place. You will not have a funner time in the world than the Las Vegas Margaritaville. I just sit at that bar. Just sit. Don't go to the upstairs, two or three up there, which are fine too. Don't go to the one in the back. Just sit at the main one. Wait yeah. for a seat. Do what we do. We kind of sit and do that little like, just kind of prod around. You look at the, the bartender, like we'll take two perfects and we're waiting for a seat if you see anything. And they'll go, oh, we'll keep an eye. Sit there and just sit there. That's, oh, no cab needed. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's really, a, there's so many great places in Vegas, right. which, is why we're, which is why we do the show. Right. That's why we moved here. Yeah. Love Toby's, love that place. Ellis Island's wonderful. Ellis still. Island is and, and like every time I bring people from, you know, from, from work, I bring out of town people, right. bring them to Ellis Island, and they have such a great time that they'll, they'll go back on their own. Yeah, like the next day. Yeah, the next day, like, we had such a good time, we're going back there, because it's, it's so much fun. Right. There's karaoke, there's people watching, there's stuff to walk to around locally, it's just like... It's just like a little mecca for fun. Yeah, and that's right behind Bally's. Yeah. That's what we do at the Triangle. Bally's it's is... A, it's one end of the Triangle. Yeah. So. so, I don't think we really answered your question, Tom. Well, we did. It's, Tom, uh, sorry. It's funny, because I would say <laughs> Portico and Frankie's, and funny enough, they're both very similar. They're both seafaring, bamboo-covered... Rum-based places. Yeah. What is this? They're very, I very... Think rum means fun. Yeah. <laughs> rum fun. <laughs> Sorry. So that would that we, would we did our best. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> without even doing any prep for that, that yeah. would be. I'm sure we'll think of something on the way back. Like, oh, the place in the blah blah, blah which I can't think of. You know. Yeah, but I mean, just, I guess think about the places that we frequent most. Yeah, and we, like I said, and if we, we didn't live here, and we bring people and we recommend people to go to when yeah. we're not there. You're right. So. <laughs> I guess we're wrapping it up here. Thank you. Live CD audience. By the way, last episode, we had a studio audience that followed us to a couple bars that I would almost put on that list as well. Oh, yeah. We, yes, we went to Champagne's. We made a couple stops after. Yeah, I don't remember anything after Good times. After that. Good times. Did we go somewhere after that? Oh, Good we times. did. Double down. We went to Double Down. <laughs> <laughs> we, took the, we took the entire studio audience with us. We yes. all went out. We hung out for a few hours after the show. Ooh, few. <laughs> yeah, a few. Yeah, it was, it was Thursday by the time we got home. Yes. Thank you, live chat room. <laughs> and Roku, which a lot of people watch us on Roku. Mm -hmm. I told you I found the remote for Roku. I'm never home, so I don't watch it. Um, Twitter. In fact, we, got, we kind of blew up on Twitter today. Thank you, cause Insert Coins. For Insert Coin, what a great place. And Access Vegas, always good to us. <laughs> The, got, got, got to go back there. I'll, I'll bring my fan when I go. You're a J-Pan fan? You're my J-Pan fan. <laughs> so hot. Uh, iTunes, <laughs> audio and video. Uh, YouTube, just video, of course. Leave us those reviews. That is the best way to get other people to know about us. Not only like do we, we have a lot of reviews, but then the more reviews you do, the fresher iTunes sees it, and then they, they, they put you more up on the, the notable section and stuff. So leave us a review. Even if it's like, they rule. Five stars. Even if you don't believe that. Just write that anyway. Just write it. Just it, it helps just us. Write it. Yeah, I do it for <laughs> I do it for podcasts and stuff I can't stand. Just because whatever. They're great. Five stars. No skin off my nose. Um, I don't really do that. But, it does um, I do it for ones I like, though. Um, <laughs> uh, the, uh, that was it. Oh, if you want to get a hold of us. Pubcrawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Pubcrawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Um, and I think that's it. 
So we will uh, see you in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Always every other week. Uh, Pub Crawl does urge you to drink responsibly. Take the monorail. Take a cab. Take a bicycle. I don't know if that's Don't take problem. a bicycle. If you're a hipster, take a unicycle. Don't even do that. You could twirl your mustache and but even that have you your can, golden girl's but neck don't, tattoo. But don't drink with your golden girl's tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. You can't, you can't write anything and drink. No, you're right. That's true. It's against the law. Yes, it is. Um, remember, we may leave stuff out, which I know we did because I was just thought of 15 things. I'm like, wait a minute. That was this week? We were at a nightclub this week with proper footwear. They didn't even talk about it. And, uh, but we don't make stuff up. So until two weeks from right now... Cheers with your nippers. <laughs>